We received hundreds of emails last week between Secretary of State Mary Adetta and the elections director before he quit and accused her office of being corrupt and unethical. But as we reported, we couldn't read everything because of a, lo a lot of it was blacked out. Well, tonight the Santa Fe County clerk shows our Gotti Schwartz some of the things that were considered too sensitive. But for some reason, the Secretary of State's office doesn't want you to see this, this, or this. But why did the Secretary of State's office black out a request for election office supplies? Most have to do with the series of corruption allegations made by a top election official who quit. And a lot of what we know comes from reading email subject lines. For example, the Secretary of State asking for sponsorships from contractors for training events. Something Herrera says she's done before has been discontinued but was still redacted. Then we saw the Santa Fe County clerk's name included in the redacted emails, so we contacted her about what was so sensitive. We need forms. We ran out of forms. We need voter ID cards. We run out of voter ID cards. We, now we're in a process where we have to seek approval from the deputy there, Don Francisco Trujillo. Other emails include requesting more Spanish voter registration forms. In fact, most of the redactions between the Santa Fe County clerk's office have to do with requests for supplies. It's just showing that they're going out of their way to hide something. Um, and at this point, I would think that she would want to foster communication because that office has drawn so much attention, and I can see why. Today, the Secretary of State's office told us they only redacted things that the Attorney General's office specifically told them to black out. Tonight, the Attorney General's office says that's absolutely untrue. Reporting from the Capitol, Gotti Schwartz, Eyewitness News 4. The Secretary of State's office has previously sent a statement saying Salazar is a disgruntled employee who didn't get time off for spring break. The office had also said Salazar should have gone to the Secretary of State about the sponsorships before contacting the Attorney General's office.